So that top pin here on this chair broke off on both sides. So we'll need to clean up these holes. And it's a 3 16 style rod that we actually don't have that diameter. So I'm gonna lathe it down. I have my calipers here for the lathe. I have them marked right to the size of that hole. So now let's go ahead and lathe down the pins and then install them on the chair. So I have a piece of maple chucked up on the lathe here that we're gonna turn into the dowel rods. And it probably isn't too expensive to just buy these, but by the time I have to go to the store, order them, I'd already be done lathing them. So let's go ahead and get that done. Now we have everything chucked up, we can go ahead and turn it on and start squaring off the stock. Whenever you're rounding off the stock, a really <clears throat> easy way to tell if it's round while it's still spinning is if you take your tool and if there's a little bit of dust in it then if you lay it on top if you see that dust rattling around you know that it's not quite round so let's go ahead and keep lathing it until it is now you can see whenever i lay it on the piece of wood they don't even move at all so that's round now i'm going to go ahead and part it to the right depth take the gouge and get all of this consistent and then it'll be the exact diameter that I need for the chair. The gouge here removes a lot more material than the skew can but it won't get quite a smooth flat finish and that's what the skew is for just to clean up those bumps. Now that it's all cleaned up as much as I can with the gouge, I'm going to use the skew to clean it up. Now I'm going to part a little bit the end here so it's a little bit easier to cut off. Now we can go ahead and take it out of the lathe and just break that off. So I'm gonna take a little bit more off since it's just a little bit too big and then I'm gonna add little rings spaced out like that so it'll hold the glue. This one has a spiral but I'm not able to do that on a hand wood lathe. So I'm just gonna add rings and then we'll put it on the chair. So now we have this all done with the little glue rings in it and it is the right size same as these pins here so now we can go ahead and take it out and install it on the chair you can see that fits right in the hole just how it's supposed to and we just need to drill out some of the broken wood that's still in there. now we can go ahead and clean out all that extra debris that's in the hole with the 3 8 drill bit This size here, I wouldn't even be able to buy a dowel rod that fits that nice in there. This is a perfect fit. So to attach this dowel rod in here, what I'm gonna do is to make sure I have it the right size, I'm going to put it in this hole here and mark it at the same length as the original one here. And that's right at that mark. So I'll cut it there and then we'll glue it in. 
Now let's do the same thing on the other side. And the sure has just such a perfect fit. Now let's go ahead and glue in these pins and then we can add the back of the chair on. Now I have these here separated and I had to do that to get the top out. And while I was at it, I put glue back on them so it'll be stronger than it was before. And now I'm gonna get that close and then put the top piece in. Now with the glue on everywhere, I also have it down here on these pegs so that those will be stronger than they were before. Now we can go ahead and put the top on here. I'll start on this end and push it on over here and bump this back into place and then just start clamping everything back together. Now that everything is kind of pushed together, we're gonna ahead and go ahead and clamp it on and then let the glue dry and sit. Now that we have all the clamps done and on here, it's sat overnight, actually a few days, we kinda didn't have time to look at it. Now we can go ahead and take the clamps off and the chair is all back together and ready for more use.